did you do that? How did you do that? Um, is will be part two of what did I call that uh, video something in the mind or something like that but last night I got up like around 3 a.m. and I couldn't fall back asleep but I was thinking um, that little walk that I did I took with my friend was somewhat uh, soothing but in continuation to my other video where I was talking about the experience that I went through and the only reason I put it up is because it had to do with the mind. When it comes to fitness, uh, fitness involves the mind also. Your mind has to be fit to function properly. So that's why I'm sharing these things and I'm going through it and I'm sharing with you. I'm not a psychologist. Um, the thing that I had spoke about on my previous video, um, I'll put the the link or probably the, uh, how do you call this, the thumbnail of it, somewhere right here, um, what I'm talking about. Um, it's because I went through it and uh, I, it was something that went on for three years, 2015. And I kept it up inside. I didn't really talk to anybody about it. Um, I tried to solve it the mature way. Um, I dealt with it and uh, the best that I felt like I could right and um, it did how will I say that when it comes to the mind uh, for me for me I want to be in a comfortable place um, I, I, I don't know how to put it but last night when I was thinking about it it was perfectly sound in my mind in my mind and I felt like I should share it since I already shared the um, a part of it already um everyone the body pretty much like i said i'm not a psychologist but based on things based on things that i've learned um for myself and things like that uh the body uh is built to make you feel comfortable to put you at a comfortable place um, if you have a disease or if you're sick or something like that, the body is designed to fight the disease to make you feel comfortable. If you're working out, you're starting to get tired, the mind automatically, you know, different uh, chemicals work together to make you feel comfortable. It will trigger something to tell you to stop working, but it you have to be stronger than that to say okay i'm trying to get to this what i'm doing is not gonna hurt me but even though i'm in pain at the moment it's just part of the process something like that right to explain my situation is pretty much um what had happened to me i tried to solve it and to put my mind at ease to put my body everything uh at a comfortable place where I didn't have to keep on fighting. Everyone has different ways of fighting things, right? I didn't see the use for me to fight it because when someone tells you exactly how they feel, it's good to respect their wishes. And if you don't like uh, what they say, for being honest with you, if you don't like it, it is your obligation because everybody's fighting to be at their comfortable uh, position, right? So if the person tell you something honestly, without disrespecting you or anything like that, they tell you something honestly, and it is up to you to either accept it or 
if you don't you can't force somebody to uh, uh, to uh, like what you what you want them to to do or to be so I respect their wishes and it was my obligation to put myself now in my comfortable spot to just stay away so they want to be comfortable I want to be comfortable so my way of um, putting my putting put putting myself in a comfortable spot is to stay away to respect their wishes right so to move on but when someone is pounding on you um feel upset at you for trying to put yourself at the comfortable spot because uh you're not agreeing with them uh now this is where you have to think uh okay do I have to submit myself to something that I know I'm not going to be comfortable with and then to, uh, to always be unhappy? The thing is, you have to put yourself in a place where you are happy. All right? You don't have to be doing something exaggerate, uh, something, you know, I don't know, something crazy to be whatever it is that makes you happy you have to put yourself in that position to be in your comfortable spot you cannot keep on submitting yourself when you're not happy to make someone happy i cannot do that so that walk that i did with my friend uh yesterday um i sort of explained to her she is honest with me i'm honest with her that's how we sort of get along uh, pretty well so when I explain to her my situation, she know who it is and everybody. It's just that I'm not saying exactly uh, the exact situation to, on social media, but to personal friends and stuff like that, she knows that and my family knows what I'm talking about. But um, I spoke to her to get uh, a different perspective, to see if the way I'm approaching my situation is in the right path. Sometimes you need to get some sort of a guidance. You don't want someone, you don't want to be talking to only people who will tell you what you want to hear. You want to hear the truth. That way, because I, like I said in my other video, I am true to myself. I try my best. I try my best to be true to myself. That way, um, you know, I could, um, I have a way, how like I said, I will respect others' uh, perspective. Um, so when I spoke to her about my situation, um, she knew about it before. Then the other thing that revives that situation, because I had already, for two years, I had already put myself in a comfortable spot how to deal with that situation. It Recently, it, rev uh, it cultivated again, because I decided to put myself in my comfortable spot and someone felt like my comfortable spot wasn't good enough for their being. Therefore, I had to say, wait a second. You didn't speak for me when I needed you, but now you're upset at me for me being in my comfortable spot. So when I explain to my friend, she agrees, she tells me, she, you know, asked me questions here and there. That's why I like talking to her, to pick my brain or whatever she didn't understand what, based on what I'm telling her. She picked my brain to understand before she gave me her perspective. And her perspective at the end, after our walk, she tells me something that she felt like I should do. Because uh, uh, I was trying not to put certain people in my problem. I didn't want certain people people to be part of the problem but I allowed those people to be with the group with the group so therefore she suggested something which I think over the summer I will try uh, <clears throat> my cousin had told me in a different way um, but when I put two and two together it's pretty much the same thing um, where um, like I said I know some of you might be in the in the blank about it because I'm not explaining exactly what the problem is because I do not want to put anybody on the spot uh, whoever's watching it if they are part of it they will know what I'm talking about so 
that's part of respecting, you know. Um, like I said from my other video, the thing that I did once I know what was the problem, I I took it upon myself, even though it was not a big issue to me. I took it upon myself to respect the other person. I tried to fix it the way that I knew was best. In return, I got you know the middle finger kind of kind of it's, they didn't give me the middle finger it's just that they just dig deeper into the problem instead of trying to move forward and they said things that I felt that they didn't need to bring okay but they did it anyway that's why I stay away so everyone needs to know uh, being true to yourself is very important you can't um, brush thing uh, when reality is happening and then you brushing it and you think it is something else if it's happening it's happening right so you have to be true to true to yourself in order for you to uh, be at ease I don't want to feel burdened every day in my life thinking I should have done don't get me wrong there are time um, you know I will do things based on my best ability and then days later, I'm thinking I could have done it differently. But that already passed because at the time, I was true to myself. I find it within me to find the best way to deal with it. Even though at that time, the best way that I dealt with it was not the best way later on that I find I could have done it. But that usually, later on, that usually is my mind because... I knew how I felt at that time from the past I was dealing with it you know with my true self so that usually is my mind in a way even though um, later on I find out that I could have done it differently but it didn't really bring me down too much because I did my best at the time I was true to myself so we all need to find what is what we um, what make us feel whole, what make us feel happy, and try to deal with it in a positive way, not to always hurt people, um, you know, um, maybe after when I come back from the gym, um, if it comes on a, uh, if I think more clearly, usually when I come from the gym, my brain is empty because I'm hungry, but if there's a better way of explaining what I just said, I will re-record it and explain to you. So it's already 14 minutes now. It's going to be two separate videos. But anyway, I'm going to get going. It's already 8 o'clock. Um, so yeah, that's it. One eternity later. Okay, today is March 15, 2017 and it's 11.32. Um, I just finished one video explaining my workout. Um, so this morning before I left, I was talking about, uh, you know, the things that I was going through, uh, the mental state and stuff like that. Um, it's not really driving me crazy, but since I had created a video prior explaining uh, uh, something that I went through, um, I just want to, I guess last night I, it, I was still thinking about it, but the essential... A message that I think I was trying to bring about was uh, uh, emotion and people's feeling. Um, sometimes you have you have to respect people's uh, feeling and emotion. The saying of that, um, you know, treat people as you would like to be treated, and that's the kind of message that I I try. That's the way I try to uh, live my life, right? So. Um, but at the same time, you know, everybody, we have to understand that everybody is looking out for themselves. Everybody wants to be in their uh, comfort zone. They don't want people to interfere with their, their lives and things like that. So we all need to respect everybody's uh, personal space and emotion and feeling. And sometimes when it's really hard to... It's a give and take kind of situation. So when something happened to you, someone say something to you that really hit the core, it is your duty 
to respond back. It doesn't have to be in a um, violent way or stuff like that. As an adult, you approach the person like an adult and tell them very nicely you don't appreciate certain things. So my issues that had, you know, um, that had happened is that that one person prevented me out of respect. I mean, I, I could have easily ignored that person, but since that person brought the point that I will be causing more problem, even though in back of my mind, I knew the problem already existed the moment the way they responded back to me. But since I was the one who started something without knowing, with not, without um, uh, bad intent, but it happened, but out of uh, respect and understand somebody's feeling, I took it upon myself to uh, apologize and remove it. And then out of that, I get something back. So the problem uh, of them responding back to me when I didn't really have to uh, do what I did. Um, so the way they responded had created a problem. But I felt it was my duty to respond back based on how they responded to me. It may sound kind of a little bit confusing, but before I send my response, I approached the person who first mentioned it to me. And that person suggested that I will create problem. I said, okay, because uh, I was the one who started out of uh, not intentionally. So I said, let me let it be, but I was gonna respond back. So because of that, the because I didn't respond back, it still stayed within me. I felt like I should have responded, but I prevent problem. So when emotion get into certain things, it could cause more problem. Um, another word is uh, when people are playing with other people's emotion, it's, uh, it's a big issue. It could lead to more problems. So I decided not to uh, create more. So the lack of not responding stayed within me. And then, you know, I find my comfort zone to help me heal uh, uh, for not responding. And I felt, the, uh, I found the best solution to not, uh, of me not responding was to stay away. So that was my, uh, my zone. That was my way of preventing further problem because I was still angry. I didn't want to be in that environment. And if one little thing happened, I probably will respond in ways that I probably will regret later. So the best way for me was to stay away. So once the person I had mentioned the, my, how I was going to respond back, he suggested not to respond for me, not to respond two years, three years later, because of my, me being in my comfort zone, staying away from uh, the people who I felt not to respond back, he became angry at me. Now my comfort zone have been violated again. Now things are happening, but he's not opening his mouth, but still the problem is still me because I find my comfort zone to stay away. So that's where the issue came. Last night it was just... Uh, it's still going in my mind, um, you know, it's good to talk to other people. Um, I didn't try to make it, um, uh, make it a big issue for me because I felt knowing myself, knowing me, not anybody else knowing me, me knowing me, I felt like it was the best solution for me to be, to stay away, to stay in my comfort zone. So me working with my friend yesterday, who uh, we both uh, we both came, came from two different worlds and we found each other at the uh, most unexpected places uh, because of our kids and uh, little at a time we start talking we understand each other uh, you know we we click like that we tell each other the truth uh, if I did something bad, she will tell me. Uh, if she didn't appreciate something that I did, she will tell me. And then we move on, right? So we don't, um, we don't sugarcoat things. 
we say like it is with respect and then we understand each other we move on we go for coffee we go for a walk so i mentioned it to her again to get her perspective and she came with a conclusion that she felt like uh, i should try to do something so uh like i said in my morning video uh, my cousin had sort of mentioned it to me slightly different but uh the foundation of both of their information um are the same so um because two people have mentioned it to me so i felt it would be good to reach back not to the people that i'm trying to stay away but to someone that and be you know that is the core of the uh problem who had nothing to do with it but i had uh elim eliminate myself out of a lot of people because usually when one of them are there all of them are there so i've uh because of me staying in my little bubble i remember saying being in the bubble sometimes is good but sometimes you have to sneak out of your little bubble even though it's not the best thing but because not everybody and that situation is involved so I need to reach out so I can shut everybody out so I don't know if I'm making sense because I'm not explaining the full detail of my um, of my issue because it involves a lot of people so I do not want to create things but because it had to do with me uh, my state of mind my well-being that's the only reason I'm uh, I'm sharing it but um yeah so over the summer i'll try to sneak out of my little bubble to reach out to one of the group um and uh see how that goes um you know there's nothing to lose um uh, i'll be going in good faith um i will not bring my issues to that particular person because that person had nothing to do with it but i'll reach out because of uh because I, I had pushed myself back away from a lot of people. So that's why it's good to talk to other people, get different perspective. Don't rush and go and do what people tell you. You, you know, acknowledge the situation, you process it and see how the information will fit into your life. So that's what I'm, uh, I'm going to try to do because two people have mentioned it in two different ways, but the foundation of their message is the same. So, um, you know, their, their information are the same. So I'm taking the good part of it that, and I'll try to fit it into my life and then reach out, get out of my little bubble and then come back into my little bubble and, uh, and stuff like that. And like I said, I will not my conversation with that person will not be about my problem it will be just me the same way you will have a conversation let's say you have your friends you have your boyfriend you have your daughter for each of these people you know you have different conversation with them all of them doesn't have to know um you know the same all your personal issues so everybody that you deal with you have different conversation with them so i will just go in good faith and uh, reach out and uh try to be nice be in a a, a peaceful harmony society <laughs> so yeah that i i still think of uh last night i was thinking more deep there were more information but now uh, I can't really uh, think of uh, all the things that I really wanted to say, um, all the things that I was thinking. So it comes out uh, differently, but the essential uh, message is pretty much that. Um, know yourself, um, respect yourself um, when you're in a situation, do it to your best ability with not any mean intent if you have mean intent behind your action you will regret later so if you approach a situation with good faith uh you will not feel any regret most likely i'm pretty sure most likely you will not feel regret uh, in the end so with my situation i don't feel i don't regret anything but i push myself to deal with it the best way that i could without uh without any ill intent so um the response that I got back was uh, a little bit, 
I mean, like I said, everyone has their way to protect their uh, themselves and stuff like that. So that was their way of protecting themselves with a lot of disrespect. So, um, yeah, you know, once you approach everything, whatever it is that you're doing with good intent and it's not bad to apologize. There's nothing wrong to apo apologize to somebody. I didn't have to apologize to the person, but because they had to do with feeling and emotion to make the person feel good, I felt, and the thing that I did didn't mean much to me, but because it meant something to, to that person, that's why I took it up on myself to fix it and then go and apologize. Without, when I first did it, it had nothing um it really had nothing to do with the person it just happened the person wasn't that uh surrounding all right so you know like i said in my previous video if that person really felt bad about what i did that person could have called me to court i'll still have the uh the right of way because the thing wasn't public when you're in public anything goes but you still have to respect people it's not like you walking and you shove somebody oh i'm in public i could do that no that's not what i'm saying it's just something very innocently that just happened and the person was in the surrounding and it happened and then uh but because of her feeling okay feeling i i know when something uh within my feeling i feel bad about something it will you know it doesn't make me feel good so I put myself in her position and then just took it up on myself to fix it and then apologize and then from that I got something like this the middle finger pretty much so that's why I had taken myself out knowing um, how that person is uh, how she felt um, you know if they feel like oh like I'll be sneaking <sighs> To do stupid things that uh, it's almost like okay if you know someone is a thief right someone usually steals and stuff like that and that person comes to your house right just an example that person comes to your house most likely I'm 100% sure if you know that person is a thief you're gonna hide your stuff even if you hide your stuff, you will always try to make, let's say there's a group of people, you will, on back of your mind, you will always say, where is that person? Is this person goes somewhere in a room that, in your house that you, uh, uh, he should not be, right? So that's how I took it based on the response that they, uh, I got back from them. And that's why I took myself out. If you know this is the way they feel, it's best to take yourself out because that's not who I am. To prevent problem, I remove myself. So if I if I had gone and continue like nothing, similar to them, as if nothing happened, um, and then one word is spoken that hit me to the core again, I will snap. That's why I take myself out. So you have to know yourself to prevent issues, to prevent problem. I don't know if I'm going to put this, if any of this makes sense, but I just wanted to share. Uh, yeah, that's it.